Today is January 24. I'm Susanna, and this is Simon Says. Last week, during our activities, all guest speakers started with this land acknowledgement. At the English Language School, we would like to continue this practice because acknowledging the territory is showing respect for and the recognition of the First Peoples in Canada. However, Cultivating a strong relationship with the First Nations requires much more than that. Let's learn together in the Student Center about the people who came long before us. This week at the Student Center will revolve around food. We will learn about Bannock, which is iconic food that most Indigenous peoples have some version of. But the current version originated in Scotland. What a perfect example of joining cultures and traditions through food. If you join me on Tuesday during the afternoon listening lab, we will learn to make this traditional food from scratch. Get your aprons out, buy some flour, butter and jam, and get ready to cook with me on Tuesday. If cooking is not your cup of tea, that's okay. You can join me during the workshops on Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. Monday will be dedicated to exploring the Longman Dictionary and its functions. Anyone who wants to practice navigating this tool, and if you want to learn some useful tips, please join me at one. Wednesday writing is suitable for any level, whether you are in 140, 145, or even 550 student, you can all find ways to improve your writing. And finally, our conversation club is always great. This is what it looked like last week when I asked students about their favorite food. So my favorite Canadian food is an Nanaimo bar. So an Nanaimo bar. So my mom used to make these when I was little. An Nanaimo bar has got to be like the best sweet dessert you could possibly have. The bottom is kind of like a chocolate, walnut, coconut base. And then in the middle, there's a nice cream and then on top there's a thin layer of chocolate and uh, they are so delicious. <laughs> Peter. Uh, I think the most famous one is syrup pancake. And the question is, do you like it? Is it your favorite? Yeah, probably because I only know this one. Uh, my the most favorite food, that, uh, Canadian food that I had uh, was um, steak beef steak yeah i tried it in the steakhouse and it was <laughs> delicious <laughs> yeah my favorite canadian food is poutine and surprisingly the best poutine that i have tried uh is from my home is in my home country like in panama i think my favorite is uh, uh iced coffee in tim Hortons. <laughs> Let's keep it up. Remember, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday workshops are all in the morning and in the afternoon. I also wanted to remind you that the appointments are available for you. And if you can't find a suitable time in the blog, simply drop me a line and we'll schedule you in. Finally, we are super excited because we have received a recording from one of our students. Hopefully, this will encourage you to participate as well. Remember, Vicky can help you out. Hi guys, my name is Ji Hwan Kim and I'm from South Korea. Uh, but I actually studied in China since I was studying in elementary school. So today, uh, I will draw this video to share my hobbies and my daily life. In the first place, my major is East Asian Studies and my minor is Political Science. So, uh, I really enjoyed and I really like to read something news articles or opinions. Also, I love to debate something issues with my friend. And when I studied in high school, uh, I operated a Korean club and we discussed and debate Korean politics or social issues. So, if you are interested in politics or East Asia, Perhaps we can talk about that. And my another hobby is tasting whiskey and baijiu. My favorite whiskey is scotch and bourbon. And I also really love Chinese traditional baijiu, like multi-flavor. Among them, my favorite is 
Sherry Cask Scotch Whiskey. And if you also like Scotch Whiskey, please contact me. Perhaps we can grab a drink together. But yeah, just remind you, drinking too much is not good for your health or body. Lastly, my another hobby is cooking. Although I'm not a good chef, but I'm trying. These pictures are my recent works. Uh, I tend to make、uh, Korean dishes, but I can make some Chinese food too. Oh, this is my favorite Chinese dish called Di San Xian, made of eggplant and potato and green pepper. What do you think? You can put a short recording like this together as well. If you are wondering what content to focus on in your video, it can perhaps also revolve around food. Right, everyone, it has warmed up, and even if we still cannot go out on adventure together, we would like to encourage you to go for a walk. You might run into something very special, just like Vicky did on the weekend. Last Friday, I went to the Deep Freeze Festival with my brother. With the snowfall, it made it more magical for the festival. The festival was pretty lively and educational, and it was a good opportunity to go with families or friends. In the festival, you can enjoy the art ice carve and also learn some indigenous culture. As well, you can take some pictures under these cute lights. And finally, remember to keep yourself warm when you are outdoor. And that was my weekend with my brother. I hope you had a great weekend as well. Have a great week, everyone. Be a smart cookie. Join the SEC. This was Simon says. <laughs>